Hello, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullah. My name is Ahmed Mushtaq and in today's video, we're going to talk about Motic in detail, which is a, an amazing marketing automation tool and the only open source uh, marketing automation platform out there. And I've been using it for more than a year now for my own campaigns and campaigns for my clients. And we'll be going through a very nice presentation, which is an official presentation from Motic. Now, if it's your first time to the channel, I request you to please subscribe. This will show your support. And at the same time, I produce content uh, on these topics on a regular basis. So, of course, you don't want to miss those uh, content in future, inshallah. Don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah, let's continue to our presentation. Let me just switch my setup. Yes. Okay. So this is a nice presentation, official presentation from Motic. You could find it on SlideShare. I'm going to share this presentation in the description section, inshallah. Uh, so uh, who founded Motic? Motic was founded by uh, David, uh, who is a coder, open source a speaker, uh, Joomla community manager. And if you don't know Joomla, Joomla was used to be a very famous uh, content management system. It's still used today, but WordPress is more famous. Uh, so Joomla, Drupal, if you remember, these were like back in the days, five, six years ago, these were very famous open source uh, content management systems. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. David, for providing us with this amazing uh, open source marketing automation platform uh, that a lot of people, a lot of marketers and technologists are using around the world. All right. So before we, we dig into Motic and understand what is Motic, let's find out what is marketing automation if, if you're not aware of it. So marketing automation basically helps you to save time in handling repetitive, repetitive marketing and sales tasks. I know it's written on the screen, but let me give you an example from uh, from my own uh, understanding. So, so if you're running a small business or let's say if you're running a startup, uh, you probably you will be doing marketing campaigns, right? But the amount of leads, the number of leads would be not uh, too much. Uh, probably you're going to have maybe 10 or 15 leads every day, maybe 100. But then you have the sales for sales force or you do have the people or staff to handle those leads uh, and nurture them and then work on them and build a relationship with those leads and make them your potential, uh, let's say, uh, customers or customers eventually, inshallah. So, uh, but when it comes to uh, big brands like Coca-Cola or Let's say if you, you're running a startup and it's an app which will be used by, let's say, hundreds and thousands of users, it can become very challenging to, you know, nurture or build a relationship with each and every lead out there when you're dealing with such a huge number. So that's where marketing automation helps you in making sure that you can automate uh, that relationship building process and you make sure that okay each and every lead that you're producing through your marketing campaigns could be online ads could be let's say a billboard ad or could be it could be any any source uh market with marketing automation uh you can make sure that okay those leads eventually become your customers through uh, their journey all right so that's in a nutshell that's what marketing automation is all about and what is motic then what is Motic. Motic is actually the only free open source marketing automation system. And now I'm reading from here. So I honestly do not know any other platform that does this. Uh, there is Zoho, but which is not open source. And most of the features are paid features. And uh, honestly, yeah, I haven't come across. Maybe if you Google it, you might find a competitor, but you might not find something as complete as Motic and I've been using it for almost uh, more than a year and let me show you my setup here okay let me just yeah so that's my my setup we'll come to that to part later inshallah but for now let's let's understand what is Motic and what are the key uh, features of modding so first of all Motic helps you in in monitoring and why monitoring is important because visitor, visitors are coming to your website visitors are coming through to your social media channels and digital presence is a huge thing nowadays so if they're coming to your uh, online touch points then of course you need to monitor them and most of them will be uh, anonymous uh, visitors you need to make them uh, known visitors and there is a way to do it through forms and in Motic we'll come to that point now so yeah, Motic, Motic does that uh, through two ways. So you could use Motic to create your own landing pages. And then the monitoring part is almost uh, automated. But if you're, let's say, using your, if you're using your own content management system or 
like your own website using WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal, you could use the Motex uh, tracking code and put it on your website, and then all that information will be tracked by Motic. So, as I mentioned earlier, there are two types of uh, visitors. There are there are anonymous visitors, and then there are known visitors on your website. And what are what is the difference between them? Anonymous visitors are those who uh, whom haven't shared any information with you, like their email or mobile number. So they're anonymous. And uh, known visitors are those who have shared their details with you, and then Motic will store them in the system. Let's say if a visitor comes into your website and they have shared their email address with you through a form, now Motic will save their device information and link it with their email address. So the next time they come in, of course, this is done through cookies and session uh, variables. And of course, you, if you're using cookies, we you are if you're using Motic, then of course you need to ask for permission from your website visitors. I don't need to tell you this if you're if you're in Europe or if you're serving European uh, uh, audience. And uh, another cool feature of Motic is the point system, which allows you to uh, score your visitors on the website and why is it important why you need to score them not because you want to judge them but you need to score them if they how how far are they from becoming your customers because all of this like whatever efforts you're putting in is to make sure that okay those leads eventually buy your product or service right and you could do that with the, the with the point system and you might ask why i need a point system the point system helps you in categorizing your leads for example the point system also helps you in uh in making sure that you could do some more automated uh tasks for example if a lead reaches let's say a certain point that like 80 out of 100 it might be qualified as a sales qualified lead and then you could use motic to forward that lead to the crm and then the cr in the crm the sales folks folks in your organization would do the rest of the job in closing the deal all right. Now, uh, keep in mind that Motic is not a CRM system. It's a purely marketing automation system, primarily used by marketing technologists uh, in the marketing departments. Okay. Uh, the sales folks, I know that in some organizations, sales and marketing is a combined one organization. Then that is a that's a, that, that is an exception, but most of the time, in many organizations, uh, CRM is used by the uh about by the sales force your sales staff or the business development folks and then the marketing technology or marketing automation uh, system is used by the marketing department now you might be saying that ahmed hubspot is a system used by both sales folks and also uh, mark, uh, marketing uh, departments and the reason is because hubspot combines both crm and marketing automation uh, however, when it comes to Motic, Motic does not do that. It's not made as a CRM platform. Okay, you need a separate CRM system for your sales department. Okay, slide number ten. Motic helps you in running your marketing campaigns, and in a marketing campaign, you could use email marketing. You could even integrate Motic with your SMS provider to send SMS campaigns. I haven't done so yet. Like I haven't tried SMS marketing with Motic, but yeah, there are, uh, I see some uh, some uh, threads on online forums where, where I see people are using Motic for uh, uh, SMS marketing. And, but I have used with email marketing and it's amazing. Uh, it, it's very similar to MailChimp. I know the user interface is basic. It's not that advanced like MailChimp, but of course, like, hey, Yanni, it's, it's free and uh, you're not paying any subscription. You're setting it up on your own hosting. So, yeah, w w why complaining? Like, everything is free in Motic. All right. So, it helps you in, in campaigns. And then you have, of course, if we're talking about campaigns, we how can we we ignore emails, uh, which, is a, which is an essential component of any marketing campaign. I know it's not that huge in here in the Middle East, but uh, around the world, everywhere else, email is... This is very important here in the Middle East. It's very unfortunate that emails are ignored based on my uh, experience. And uh, mostly people, uh, they're, they're, they're glued to their social media accounts. And uh, But again, email, we cannot ignore email. Email is still crucial if, and especially if you have, uh, 
if you have official emails because uh, people do rely when it comes to work they rely on emails they cannot rely on social media but yeah if you have official emails of course with consent of uh, those who have you have met maybe in different conferences or of, or of those who have filled up information uh, in uh, through your online campaigns then yeah email is of course a very crucial part when it comes to uh, marketing automation so yeah so uh, basically if, if i just go to my screen this is my modic it allows you to send emails so for example i sent an email Eid al fatr email it was sent to almost 3000 people and only 365 people read people i think my audience hates me so yeah and it tells you that the open oh the open rate the red like reading or open rate is almost 12 percent not bad which is very good the average in our industry is 10 percent. so yeah I'm, I'm doing well so yeah, it gives you analytics and then you can open it and you will be able to see detail analytics that, okay, which link they, they, they clicked on, which segments were the most active segments. It allows you, uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, this is allows you to manage your contacts. These are, of course, coming through different forms. And then you could also segment them. You can categorize them into different segments. So yeah, this is how I'm using Motic. Uh, we have, uh, I have a landing page in Motic as well. So if I... I have a landing page uh, with the form. It's a simple landing page where I'm asking users to, if they want to subscribe to my mailing list, they could just add, write their email uh, uh, name and mobile number is optional, and then they will be part of my uh, uh, part of my campaigns. And I have some workflow campaigns. So for example, if I go to campaigns, and these are so just uh, test campaigns that I should ignore. Let me just uh, no, sorry, these are companies. I'm sorry yeah sorry about that okay so for example interested in webinars welcome this is a this is a campaign and if i go to edit sorry yes edit and if i go to launch campaign builder i can do some uh workflows here which is very similar to hubspot the one in hubspot is much much fancier but yeah this does the job like it it does do any help you in a lot like for example you could uh I could add another one here, like an action, and there are different actions like, uh, uh, let's say, of send a webhook, which means this is usually used to send data to an external party. Webhook means API. Let's say if I want to forward the contact to a CRM, I could use that. If I want to send an email, I could do that as well. Uh, if I want to delete the contact, I could do that as well. I don't know, I'm not sure why I would I do that. But yeah, maybe, maybe because if, if there is an, un, let's say if, if there is an unsubscribed form, that's a lame example, I know, because Motic already provides that automatic, like it's an, it's an automated feature. But let's say if you're, if you create your own manual form where it's an unsubscribed form, people write their email and name, then you could, you could delete that contact from here. You could create a workflow linked with that form and which would allow you to remove uh, that contact delete that contact i'm not sure why i'm focusing on this this uh, particular uh part but yeah so just to give you an example now so yeah there are a lot of details involved and um, uh you could uh, i'm not probably if you if you want to learn about it i would urge you to install it or ask someone to install it on your server or you could you could ask us uh, as a paid service and we could help you install this on your server and then you can experiment with it all right so yeah let's go back to our presentation uh we then we have a form so the form i showed you a form right now right so forms allows you to to uh to convert your unknown visitors in your known visitors because now you know them they have shared their email with you okay and then you basically put those forms on your landing pages and now you might be asking can you use your own landing page and your you own forms on your own website yes you could do that uh, Motic does provide you with a different tracking code that you could place on uh, on that specific page on your website where you have uh a place to form and then Motic will create a contact for you in, in the system yeah that that is very cool i'm not using using that I'm, I'm lazy and i'm i'm just only relying on the landing pages that uh, Motic provides but if you hate the uh if you're not a fan hate is a extreme word but if you're not a fan uh, of uh, Motic's built-in editor then yeah you could you could uh, just use your own landing page and form and use the tracking code provided by Motic okay uh, what are assets? Assets allows uh, 
uh, I'm not using assets, first of all, okay? And But I know, I understand what are assets, and they're very crucial. So, for example, why would someone subscribe to, or, or let's say, why would someone give you their email? You need to give them something in return, right? So, it could be an ebook, okay? It could be, let's say, a report. So, okay, so that's an asset. It could be an infographic. It could be a white paper. Now, uh, haven't used this here in, in in the middle eastern market but it's a huge thing outside or uh yeah and especially in the business world because you know if you're sharing something which is very rare and it's not indexable by google and you're the only way they can get that information is through you and the only way you will give them this information is if they share their email with you then yeah you could you could create those as assets in in motic and then you could share those assets by email and uh, this will also make sure that they are giving you the right email because you don't want you just don't want them to download the asset immediately after they fill up the form what if they're providing you a wrong email so uh, to make sure that okay they provide you with the right email then you could have uh, assets in your workflows sent to them to their emails all right uh reports uh reports uh, let me give you a quick quick uh overview of reports so these are some basic reports in the dashboard and then we have dedicated reports like you could have reports on how many people open the email those are basic ones you could have reports that okay how many people from a certain segment open the email or let's say how many people clicked on a certain link how many people let's say visited a certain website a landing page i mean uh so you could get all sorts of reports because that's that's that actually if it, that helps you in, in you know optimizing your campaigns and, and 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 making sure you understand your audience so yeah reports are very uh, very crucial okay and especially if you're someone coming from a you know uh analysis background then yeah you would love this part okay so uh lastly how you could use uh, motic in a basic way so you add the tracking code now here i think this is outdated information uh if you okay uh, sorry i didn't Okay, switch my screen. Okay, so here, uh, the basic use of uh, Motic is that, okay, you get the tracking code and this one is, is outdated. So how do you get the tracking code? You go to settings and then you go to configuration and then you search for, okay, let's, let's wait for the page to load. Yes, tracking, tracking settings. And then, yeah, it allows, it's, it's telling you to copy this code and place it on your website. So that's the updated way of using uh, the tracking a mechanism this one ignore this part okay and then uh, uh the tracking code would allow you to uh get that information and and, to, and get it inserted in in, in motic all right and uh, so basically what motic is suggesting is start uh tracking your visitors and then collect information and then nurture them through campaigns i showed you the campaigns uh, a few minutes ago okay and then integrate points i'm not honestly speaking i'm not uh, using this as of now but yeah nothing is stopping you from this you could actually use the workflows to rank uh your visitors i'm not i'm very bad in judging i don't judge people okay i'm not saying that you're a bad person but i'm just saying that i don't judge people so yeah okay it was a lame dad joke okay forgive me for this okay and uh yeah define outcomes and goals uh, with and it comes when you are uh, when you are ranking or let's say scoring people. Then of course you need to create a workflow where you eventually decide that okay, if a certain lead reaches a certain specific uh, score, you need to move that uh, lead to the CRM system. And I showed you through the webhook. All right, I just give you a hint. Of course, I did not sh uh, show you completely, but yeah, you got the point. All right, so folks, uh, if you have any questions use a comment section and keep the you know keep the, keep the conversation uh, active and uh, if you liked this uh, video let me know also in the comment section if i should make more videos on such topics uh, this one was a lengthy one and uh, again don't forget to subscribe show me your support share this video on your social media it will not cost you anything and it will show me that how much love you have for me all right. Thank you so much. God bless you. And let me stop my video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.